Great. So uh, hi, everybody. I'm Lincoln White uh, with FultonFishMarket.com. Thanks a lot for, uh, for joining us for this presentation where we talk about how we've used Magento as a key part of our technology ecosystem to sell fresh seafood online, which is a pretty tough product to uh, sell online. But we'll talk to you about the business vision, um, and, the, and uh, then we'll get into the technology uh, ecosystem. Thanks a lot for Meet Magento for a great conference. Thanks for Dree, who's been emceeing this stage for the last couple of days. Great job, and we're glad to be here. Um, so John, our CFO, will start, I think, with some notes about Fulton Fish Market, the seafood business, what the opportunity and challenges are e-commerce-wise. Sure. So uh, welcome, everybody, and thank you for taking the time to, to uh, meet with us here. Um, so full disclosure, I just joined Fulton Fish Market about two weeks ago, so uh, don't ask me too many hard questions. Um, but I'm going to talk to you a little bit why I joined and what makes me excited about the opportunity for Fulton Street. So, um, well, first question is, where is Fulton Street Fish Market? You see this picture, this is in the Bronx, not on Fulton Street. So uh, the Fulton Street Fish Market moved from Fulton Street down in the Financial District up into the Bronx about uh, 13 years ago in 2005, uh, just because they outgrew it. So now the Fulton Street Fish Market is, um, I believe it's about... 500 yards, five football fields long. There's um, millions of pounds of, of seafood that go through it every day. Uh, and we are the only e-commerce and logistics portal that operate out of it. So we're actually the biggest buyer out of the Fulton Street Fish Market selling to a larger distributed network. Um, and the, these are just a couple of examples of people playing with fish inside the market. Um, and this is uh, out on the dock. So. Uh, it's sort of a fish market that you'd expect to see, um, and we're applying uh, the technology that Lincoln and the team have built out to an industry that typically hasn't had this type of application um, applied to it, and we, we think the market opportunity is, um, is unlimited, so we're super excited. Um, and sort of why seafood, um, because, and why, why fresh seafood, because one, it's healthy, um, and the, the American consumer and the international consumers uh, as more information is available, realizing that healthy and fresh food um, is a way to lower health care costs, um, have a better and healthier life, um, lower blood pressure, and, and so on and so on. Um, and also, it's better for the environment as we like, process fewer things um, and uh, put them in your body fewer, fewer, to fewer toxins. So, uh, and part, this is part of the main value problem. This is what really attracted me. Like, how, how do you get the, the seafood to somebody's house as quickly as possible and in, in a fresh way? So uh, it comes from the ocean, fish market, arrives at your house within 24 to 48 hours. Like, that is the true like, value prop. So um, as a B2B or B2C consumer, if I've ordered something right now, I could have it at my house in Williamsburg, Brooklyn within, by tomorrow afternoon. Like if I want um, a couple tuna steaks, a couple pieces of salmon for me and my wife, um, that's easier than even going to Whole Foods and buying it down the street. So uh, that's what really is an amazing opportunity, and, I, and I, I can't wait to see where this goes. Just a couple of notes to add to this slide, because it's big about what we're trying to accomplish. This is how me growing up in Ohio bought seafood. <laughs> and not only was it a five-step process, very often the ocean, 70% of the seafood that's consumed in the United States is caught in unregulated, polluted waters in Asia. 70% of the seafood that's caught in North American waters that's highly regulated, transparently caught and sourced, sustainably fished, is sent to Asia because that consumer cares about more than price, they want quality. So we're turning this industry on its head and going after a consumer that's putting more than cost into the value equation, and they want something that's a day or two out of the water at home, and they're willing to pay for that. If you go to our site, you're going to see we got BMW prices, a big part of our future objective is to get them down to Volvo prices. But this is what we're all about. So we'll talk a little bit about the technology. Magento today sits at the center of our whole technology ecosystem. We got a B2B site for restaurants and, and uh, seafood shops. We have a consumer site for all of you to buy fresh seafood and have it shipped out of the market. Sometimes it's coming into the market alive and it's at your house the next day by 10 o'clock in the morning. And then we've got third party sellers. So box.com is an online Costco. They're selling fresh seafood. Those orders come into our Magento system and get fulfilled out of Magento, and we ship for boxed. We've got Gordon Food Service, the third largest uh, uh, food service provider in the country. They're now offering fresh seafood in their catalog, and those orders, again, flow into Magento, and we fulfill them out of the largest uh, seafood market in the world in the South Bronx, the Fulton Fish Market. 
These are some of the parts and pieces of our ecosystem. Many of these are familiar to you. Um, some parts that are unique to us are the routes that we have to manage to get fresh seafood to businesses on schedule. So in some cases, we're shipping pallets of fresh seafood to Chicago, to Las Vegas, to Austin on a nightly basis. And we have to make 4 a.m. flights out of LaGuardia and JFK in the cargo holds of these airlines to get the, the seafood there on time. Then we have last mile couriers that have to pick up this seafood and the last mile couriers vary depending on the, on the city to get the seafood to the right restaurant. For the consumer, I'd say 99% it's UPS and FedEx next day air. But for the B2C business, which right now is larger than the B2B, the B2B business, which right now is larger than the B2C, there's a lot of logistics and last mile coordination. And I'll talk to you a little about that. Um, SendGrid for emails, QuickBooks is our financial system. We're questioning whether we're outgrowing that. Um, we've got attached to Magento a lot of custom built uh, in PHP and MySQL applications, a work order management system that I'll give you a quick glimpse of. Uh, salespeople are constantly making deals in the field with restaurants about, hey, we'll give you this established price for some seafood, and we have a system outside of Magento that updates those committed prices, and then make sure we're invoicing the consumer against their orders on the prices we committed to. Not only is our product difficult because it's got to be fresh and get there within a day or two, it's difficult because the price constantly changes. If you eat fresh seafood at a restaurant, they're always saying market price. You're in the market on a nightly basis. It's the stock exchange of fish. People are buying and, and, and selling, and sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not. And when it's not there, the price jacks up. So it's tough for us to manage prices and the salesperson price. So we not only have the salesperson price management tool, we have a, a set of automated algorithms that we're constantly upgrading that's looking at the history of prices in the market and trying to project a profitable price on the online site that folks will also buy at, and that's constantly updating Magento on a daily basis with market pricing. We also use tiered pricing, so if you're a high volume customer, you might get better pricing when you're logged in than if you're a low volume customer or you're somebody who's really a hassle to deal with. <laughs> and we got another tool that we use to manage our routes, and I'll give you a quick glimpse of that. Um, I think I can give you a glimpse of some of these tools real time. I'll show you the routing tool first. Um, we created a Magento attribute just called route and on its face it's pretty straightforward but the route is built and it's composed of leg providers sometimes there's multiple leg providers there might be multiple airline hops maybe even changing airlines with different times associated with that and then last mile couriers there might be one or two last mile couriers so in Magento we have an attribute that might say route LGA to Memphis but that route's composed of multiple carriers and multiple deadlines and multiple legs that, that we generate in this PHP-based route management system, and that interacts with Magento to update our reporting. So operations knows what seafood's got to get out the door at 4 a.m. versus 6 a.m. versus they've got until noon to get it ready to go out the door, and it lets them manage their work better. I mentioned salesperson pricing. So this is a PHP-based tool that interfaces with Magento that lets a sales rep see uh, for their restaurant, in this case it's Ruth's Chris Steakhouse in Austin, and this is Bill Zuzak, one of our salespeople. He can look at a, a variety of seafood, the wholesale price that we've paid most recently in the market on average, the retail price we're selling it for online, and here we give Bill some freedom to do override price deals with his uh, customer. And then if that customer is to order today, this, is, this, this pricing system is going to interact with Magento to invoice the customer for those items for that customer at that override price. So it's sort of a cool little thing we built onto Magento to help us manage SKU level pricing that's changing very quickly. They, the, customer, uh, the, the, uh, the sales rep can generate a PDF of this and hand that price sheet to the customer and leave them with that. The other uh, little PHP thing we're sort of proud of that I'll show you, this is just our work management system. So every item gets procured, with mo they're walking through the market, if the market's open from one in the morning till seven in the morning with mobile devices, they're buying the seafood, we receive it, we take the temperature, the weight, we fabricate it, fillet it, pin bone it, we cryovac it, package it, put it in boxes to go. We're tracking the work for each one of those items across the tabs on this different station. So we'll receive the fish, fabricate the seafood, assemble and cryovac it, pack it, and ship it out the door. Here we're looking at a packing screen with some of the items that packed and went out the door this morning. We're tracking the location, the quantity, of course, what store it came from, the deadline that we have to get that out uh, to the airport or to the courier to get it delivered. 
So let me go back to the slide presentation and remind myself where we are. So these, so we, you know, we're also this work management system is constantly talking to Magento is printing out UPC and barcoded tags at different stages, um, so we can track all that information. This is what we call a tote tag that would get attached to a tote of salmon, for example, that's going to be now broken down into individual orders. And all of this is for quality control. Obviously, you can imagine, not only is customer satisfaction involved with the quality control, but people can get really sick, too, if you don't control it very well. So we always want to be able to track it all the way back to who we bought it from in the market. We can track it back from who the, who the market participant bought it from as well. Just a glimpse of how we're packing and shipping with ice packs and insulation materials, and we're trying to derive algorithms that'll tell us, based on an order, how many ice packs to put in and how, what size box and what type of material. It's just a pallet, some of the pallets of seafood that are going out on a daily basis. So what's the team that's built this? Um, it's a pretty international team. Our core developers right now are out of Romania, a team called Oak3 that's built a lot of the custom PHP you've seen. They've done the initial Magento implementation for us, and they've done some really good work. We've got some developers in Canada with a firm called Simply PHP that we're starting to bring on board, and they're doing good stuff for us. We have a team of folks, some folks that are supporting the market in New York, and some developers in New York and in Washington, D.C. Um, combination of SQL database, MySQL database developers, Magento expertise, and PHP expertise. So that's a little bit of a picture of where we are and how Magento's been huge in launching this um, revolution in the seafood industry. Where are we going next? Uh, we're launching Zendesk for customer service. We really want to accelerate our direct-to-consumer business. We think there's a huge message and story to tell that's going to engage a large subset of consumers that are really concerned about seafood quality. Um, especially when you learn about the health benefits of adding fresh seafood to your family's diet and the lack of transparency about what you're buying in a restaurant or at a grocery store that's been thawed, frozen, thawed, frozen five times on its way from Asia and often isn't even what you think it is. We're going to upgrade to Magento too. We hope and believe that we're going to get speed improvements and capability improvements and need less customization. At the very least, we'll probably have to go to it just to maintain support. We want to consolidate our online stores. Today, if you go to our site, you see we got a B2B store, a B2C store, a store for community-supported fisheries. We want to aggregate all those and try and use Magento functionality so it's one, it's one store, and then when you log in, you see the product assortment, the pricing, and the messaging that's associated with those different customer groups. We're really going to grow our third party and drop shipping. So these orders from third parties that come into Magento, we believe we're the world's best, freshest brand of seafood. We can sell it through any site. Amazon's a possibility for us. Jet's a possibility for us. So we're going to grow that. Another thing we're going to do is source and fulfill at the water. We want to set up these fulfillment centers when we start to get high enough volume, right where the fish is coming out of the water. Why does it need to come into the New York City market? So in some cases, we're doing a lot of salmon coming from the Pacific to the New York market to ship it back to the West Coast. And as that volume grows, it's going to be affordable for us and make sense for us to put those fulfillment centers, talking to Magento, write out where the fish is being caught, and prepare the fish there and ship it to the consumer from wherever it's coming in off the water. Inventory system's a big gap for us. Uh, today, too much of it's in memory in Excel. We're buying fresh seafood. Some of it's got a shelf life of one to three to maybe five days if it's shellfish. And that's too often tracked in Excel and in people's heads, and we need to start building a more robust inventory system to help us manage inventory that might be left over from today's purchases and still good enough to ship out tomorrow. And I mentioned invoicing. Today, we, the customer places an order for a five-pound salmon. Unfortunately, salmon won't grow to exactly five pounds. Sometimes they decide to grow to 4.9, sometimes 5.5. Hmm. So you ship them a 5.5-pound salmon, and you want to bill them for that 5.5 pounds, the actual weight of the seafood. And sometimes there's a material difference we're invoicing the consumers today out of a system that doesn't put the actuals back into Magento. So that's a problem for us, right? When you're a customer and you go look at your order history, you're seeing what you ordered, not what we actually shipped you. And we want to drive those actuals back into Magento and invoice out of Magento instead of out of a separate system. We think that'll really improve customer satisfaction and reduce a lot of aggravation we have managing the way we've set it up now. It also make my life a lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> So John's the new CFO. He's been on the ground eight days. So the CIO and CFO are still getting along. I'm sure yeah. that's going to change over time. But the uh, inventory system, I think he's already identifying, you know, as a big, big thing we got to do. So we're hitting the, getting near the end here. All of you can save 20% off and get free shipping on fresh seafood at uh, FultonFishMarket.com. And glad to answer any questions if there are, are any about what we're doing. Thank you.
Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, if you look at our prices, we're trying to build that into the price. So if you were to go on your phone right now to our site, you're going to see the consumer prices are pretty expensive, and we're trying to reflect the cost of overnight shipping. We keep flipping back and forth between UPS and FedEx, because when you flip back and forth, they keep calling you and saying, switch back to us, and we'll give you a better deal. So we're playing <laughs> that game. We're on the phone starting at about 11 o'clock at night, calling the airlines, seeing who can give us the best rate for pallets of seafood on a given night to different cities, and trying to negotiate that. So it's a it is not a, there's an art and a science to it because the price already reflects, if you order more than 100 bucks, it's free shipping. Everybody just expects that now, B2B and B2C. So we're trying to build into the product price the cost of shipping these materials. Yeah. And so that's big for us, getting the logistics costs down, the last mile, cost. We're, we're thinking so hard about the last mile piece. And you see that even like Jed and Amazon haven't figured it out. We got a lot of thinking to do there. We run our own courier and delivery service in New York City. We're piloting that to see how we do with that because we can just take it right out of the market into New York. And then of course we got uh, third party couriers that we've contracted with across the rest of the country.